What's up you guys? It's your boy Ty Tun and today I'm going to be telling you a story about how I think my neighbor is a serial killer. Like that dude is just really weird and I don't know, he gives me killer vibes but you'll find out why when I tell you the story. But before I get into all that, I just want to point out some things real quick. Some of you already may know this but I moved out of my parents house and I moved in with my brother so I'm currently at my brother's house right now. I'm going to be staying here for a while until I get everything situated and I'm able to move out on my own, but he did say that I can paint, so I ended up painting my room, hanging some shelves, and making it a little bit more homey, so I feel really comfortable here, and I am loving it. But the only thing I don't like is that his house is next to a main road, so you guys are going to hear a lot of cars passing, there's a lot of motorcyclists that like pass by, I don't know why, but they do, and my bedroom is the closest room to the street, so it's just really loud in here. Another thing I want to say is if you see me shining, it's not a glow, it's sweat, it's a little warm up in here, I turned the air conditioner off because it's loud and I didn't want it to like ruin the audio, but the cars are going to ruin the audio anyway, so it's just a struggle. And your boy got a new haircut. I'm really liking it. It's a lot shorter than what I normally do, but I really 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 like it And it's gonna be easier for me to color my hair with the lines and stuff Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that if you guys want to see me color my hair on YouTube Let me know in the comment section down below Okay, before I make this intro way too long I'm gonna need you guys to give this video a big fat thumbs up Subscribe to my channel to become part of the Thai fam and ring that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on snapchat at tye underscore t u n Now with all that being said, let's get into today's story The setup in here is a little bit different so I'm no longer like sitting, I'm standing and I'm trying to get used to standing and not moving around but whatever. <laughs> So like I said, I recently moved in with my brother, and things here are pretty cool. I like the area, there's great places to eat, there's things to do, like a whole bunch of things to do. But the only thing that I don't like is his neighbor. Now when I first moved in here, I didn't even know he had a neighbor. The house that the neighbor is living in looks abandoned, the windows are like boarded up, the door looks beat in, it's just very like... It looks abandoned. I only knew he had a neighbor because when I was going outside to get the mail, his neighbor was coming out of that abandoned house to get his mail as well. So I was like, oh, okay, somebody lives there? So I was talking to my brother about it and he was like, yeah, somebody lives in there. He's been living there for years now. And I was like, okay, awesome. <laughs> And my brother was just telling me that his neighbor's a little weird, he's a little cuckoo, he doesn't bother anybody, but we try not to bother him as well. So I was like, okay, I won't be bothering that neighbor, he looks really creepy. Well, actually, he doesn't look creepy, like he wears really nice clothes, he has really nice shoes all the time, he's always clean looking, so it's really weird for him to be living in that house with like the boarded up windows and the beaten door and the chipped paint and the like crusty outside, it's just... It's, it just looks very abandoned. I know I keep saying that, but like, I just can't see how... It doesn't even look like the house has like, um, like electricity or water or anything. Like, I don't, I don't see how he's living there. But anyway, my brother told me not to bother him, so I was like, okay, fine. I can do that. I won't bother him. But unfortunately, the neighbor didn't want to leave me alone, so he bothered me. This past weekend, my brother decides that he's going to leave the country and leave me at his house for a week by myself. So that's what I'm doing. I'm by myself in my brother's house, taking care of his dogs, making sure everything is all good here. By the way, there's a weirdo. Whenever I walk the dogs, he like stares at me and he hit on me one time too and I was just really uncomfortable, but that's another story for another day. I did tell it on my TikTok, so you should go watch it there. But anyways, let me get into the actual story story for you guys. So this past Monday was the first day I was home by myself. And let me tell you, I did not have a good day. 
I was woken up out of a deep, beautiful sleep by somebody knocking on my front door. So I roll over and I look out the window and it seems to be pretty early but I wasn't 100% sure. So I roll back over and I check my phone and it's 7.30 in the morning. And I'm like, okay, who is knocking on the door this early? The only thing I could think of was a salesperson. And I don't like talking to salespeople, so I don't open the door for them. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just let him knock and I'm going to go back to sleep because I don't wake up that early. I normally wake up at like 1 p.m., okay? So I was like, okay, I'm going to let them knock and then I'm going to go back to sleep. So I pull the blankets over my head and I close my eyes and I'm drifting off back to sleep. But right before I actually go to sleep, I hear knocking again. But this time it's a little bit louder and the dogs start barking. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to get up and talk to the salesman. So I pull myself out of bed, I throw on some sweatpants, I go downstairs and I head over to the front door. Now when I got to the front door, I was a little bit scared to open it because I heard somebody like tapping on it with their fingers, just kind of like, like that, just tapping. And I'm like, what are they, why are they tapping on the door? But I just wanted to get rid of the salesperson so I can go back to sleep. So I opened the door and lo and behold, it's not a salesperson, it's the neighbor, the creepy one. And it takes me by surprise and I'm like, oh, hello. And he's legit just standing in my doorway like this. And I'm just like, hello? And then he's like, I noticed you just moved in here. You liking it so far? And it was like really awkward, but I was like, yeah, I like it so far. <laughs> I do. And in my head, I'm like, what do you want? Like, why are you here? Why are you knocking on my door at 7.30 in the morning? And then he's like, I know it's early and I hope I'm not disturbing you, but I was just wondering if I could borrow a knife of yours for a second or two. And I'm just really polite, especially if I'm in like an awkward situation. So I was like, oh yeah, no problem, no problem. But in my head, I'm like, this crazy boy wants a knife. Like, what is he gonna do with a knife? What does he need a knife for at 7.30 in the morning? So I ended up leaving him at the door. I walk into my kitchen, I grab a knife out of the drawer and I give it to him. And one thing I can't get out of my head is the way he took it out of my hand. He was like this, thank you. Like imagine this water bottle is a knife. He was just like, Thank you. Mind you guys, I was holding the handle of the knife, so the sharp part was like sticking up, and he grabbed the tip of the sharp part like this and then took it. And I was just like, okay, this guy is, he's creeping me out. Another thing to note is after he creepily took it out of my hand like this, he was holding it like this, like as if he was gonna stab me or something. And he was just standing there like, and I was just standing there like, <laughs> And then finally he was like, this shouldn't take very long. I'll bring back the knife as soon as I'm done. So I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> and in that moment, it was very awkward and I was scared. So I was like, okay. And I ended up just closing the door on him and locking it. So after that incident, I was like, I can't go back to sleep now because I'm freaked out. So I just ended up cleaning the house and walking the dogs and just doing like chores and stuff around the house. And I expected him to have the knife for like 30 minutes to an hour. But you guys, he had the knife all day he literally returned it at like six something at night basically 11 to 12 hours what were you doing with a knife from 7 30 to six o'clock what but him returning the knife was really weird too but i'm getting there so it was like six something at night i'll just say 6 30 for the heck of it and i get another knock on the door but this time i just figured it was him returning the knife finally so i go up to the door and i open it and he's standing there like this holding the knife, like pointing it at me. So say if this was the knife, he's holding the handle, this is the pointy part, he was like this, like trying to hand it back to me. And again, it was very awkward. I didn't even know how to take it, so I ended up pulling a him, and it was just like, oh, thanks, thank you for this. <laughs> and he goes with the straightest face possible, thank you for letting me use your knife, it solved a lot of my problems today. And when he said that, I was like, Oh my god, this man probably killed somebody. And even though I was scared, I just wanted to be sure that he didn't kill anybody. So I was like, so what What problems What problems did, did it solve for you? And still, with the straightest face possible, this man was like, oh, I just had a couple of problems I needed to chop up. And I was like, oh, okay, well, nice meeting you. And I go to close the door and he's like, wait, and I was like, oh my God, what does he want? What does he want? What does he want? And he opens up his mouth again and he's like, I hate to ask, but can I borrow a couple trash bags? 
And even though I didn't want to give him anything else because he freaks me out, I was like, at least if I give him trash bags, he's not gonna return those. And I leave him at the door again, I walk into the kitchen, and before I grab some trash bags, I put the knife in the sink. But as I'm putting the knife in the sink, I smell bleach coming off the knife, and it's like strong. And at first, I didn't think it was a knife because there's a laundry unit right next to our kitchen and I was washing clothes earlier, so I was like, oh man, I must have put a lot of bleach in there or something. Because you guys, it was such a strong smell of bleach, I quickly realized that it was coming off of the knife and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it, it, it was burning my nose. That's how strong it smelled. So I dropped the knife in the sink, I grabbed some trash bags and I go back to the door. And he was still standing there with the straightest face possible, just like, waiting for me to give him his trash bags. So I give him the trash bags and I'm like, here you go. And he takes them and he says thank you and he just walks over to his house. And as soon as he walked away, I closed the door, I locked the door, I locked all the windows, I locked the back door, I locked everything and I was like, okay, whew, I don't have to deal with him ever again. Wrong, because less than two hours later, I get another knock at the door and I'm like, please, Please tell me this is not the neighbor. Who knocks on people's doors nowadays? Can you just please leave me alone? So I go over to the front door and I crack it open and lo and behold, it's the neighbor again. And he's standing in the doorway like this with a half grin. And then he was like, so things are pretty messy at my house right now. Do you think I can borrow that knife again and a couple more trash bags? And for some reason it gave me major anxiety, so I was like, sure. And I run into the kitchen, I grab the knife, and this time I gave him the entire roll of trash bags, because I was like, look, I can get some more. It ain't that serious. If he needs all these trash bags, just let him have it. You don't want to die tonight, Ty, so just give him the trash bags. I get the knife, I get the trash bags, I head over back to the front door, and I hand him both and he's like thanks I don't need all these and I was like no 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 just take them I have a whole bunch at the house I actually didn't that was the only trash bags we had but I was like nope we have so many at the house here just take the whole roll and by the way you can keep the knife as well and he was like are you sure are you sure and I was like yes please keep it I don't need it you need it a lot more than I do just take it <laughs> Whoa. and he responds with thanks partner in crime and in my head I was like partner in crime partner in crime. I didn't do any crime. I didn't do anything. I didn't hurt anybody. Oh my god, I gave him the knives and the trash bag. I'm an accomplice. I'm going to jail. But I have an alimony. You can't prove anything. But you can't disprove anything either because my fingerprints are all over the knife and the trash bags. And I just had so much anxiety. I was like, <laughs> well, have a nice night, sir. And I close the door and I lock him again. And that night, I swear I had the worst trouble sleeping because every like 30 minutes, I heard a loud bang come from his direction, like where his house is. Oh my god, there's somebody in there. They're trapped. They need help. I was having nightmares of this man breaking into my house. But thank God, he did not come back over to the house and he hasn't been back to this house since. So I think I'm good. I think I'm in the clear. I think I'm safe, F -f hopefully. So just know if I disappear or anything happens to me, it was the neighbor. But yeah, like I said, thankfully I haven't seen him since that day, but it was just such a bizarre experience because like, what do you need a knife for at 7.30 in the morning? And then why do you need all these trash bags? I don't know. Maybe he was like cleaning up his house. Maybe he was cooking and needed a knife, but that doesn't explain why the knife smelled like bleach. Maybe he, I don't, I don't, maybe he cleans with bleach. I'm not gonna overthink it. He's a serial killer. But I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about the situation. Like, what do you think he was doing at his house? Mind you, like I said, his house looks abandoned, so I don't think there's much in there. Maybe that's why he did it at night. I don't know. I really don't know. Somebody explain something to me. Maybe I, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe he's not a serial killer. But he is though. But he is though. But that's all I have for today's video. You know what's crazy before I go? I literally, I literally, if you follow my community, like my community page, I guess that's what it's called. I literally posted, tweeted, Facebooked, whatever you want to call it. I posted. I was like, I don't feel like doing story times anymore. Like, I don't, I just don't like them anymore. I want to do other stuff. I want to vlog. I want to do reaction. I, I was having like a little mental breakdown because that's around the time I was like getting kicked out of my house and moving into this one, so I think I was just having a mental breakdown, I couldn't focus, it was just a lot. But here I am, making another story time video. 
But also, before I go, let me know what other things you want to see from me. If you want to see me do some vlogs. Because I live in a city, so I can, like, go out now and do stuff. Of course, you know, the pandemic is still happening, so I can't do much. But I can, like, go to, like, a park. Maybe go to, like, a beach. And, you know, six feet apart. I can do more reactions slash commentary videos. Like, I reacted to Lovely Peaches. I reacted to, um... Tony Lopez's apology, uh, whatever you want me to do. Just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do it for you guys. And also, do you like my new haircut? I feel like I have like a small head. So my hair looks very weird. Like, I look good. Like I'm still cute and beautiful. I'm just not used to seeing the shape of my head. It's gonna get me, wait a minute. <laughs> it's gonna take some time to get used to but I actually really like this haircut I think I'm gonna keep my hair short from now on like this short with a little fade or whatever I don't know but I just want to say I love you guys so freaking much and don't forget to check out this playlist of story times and catch up on your story times if you haven't already and don't forget to check out my merch store I'll put that on the screen as well and I will see you guys in my next YouTube video whether it be a vlog whether it be I don't know I don't know. I just want to say that I am safe because on Tuesday I bought a security system for my brother's house because he didn't have one. So now I can see everything that's going on and I know when things are open. Like I can tell when a door is open or a window is opened. And I can see everything in the house. So we are safe. Don't worry about me. If anything happens, just know that it was the neighbor. Like I said, it was the neighbor. Okay. Bye guys. Love ya. <laughs>